Hey folks, I thought it was going to be kind of a humdrum day. There's really no economic news out. There was uh, news on the unemployment claims and they came in kind of right in line. So I'm thinking, okay, it's going to be a really boring day once again when it comes to news. And then all of a sudden, bam, the market just plummeted. So let me, and when I'm talking about the market, I'm talking about mortgage bonds. Okay. So here's it, here it is. You can see it went from basically up here to down here, drop 20 points like that. And I'm thinking, when the world just came out? So I go over to the economic calendar because I was already prepping for this. And I'm like, okay, well, we have right through here, initial jobless claims came in kind of as expected. Manufacturing PMI came in, well, kind of as expected. And then the servicing PMI, it went from 51 to 54. And I'm like, hmm, okay, is that a big enough move to actually move the markets? But if you really take a focus in on what is the servicing PMI, it was basically saying the, how the service sector is doing in our economy. So reading over 50, over 50 is usually good, usually good in the normal market. And you can say that right here, a reading that is stronger than forecasted is generally supportive, bullish for the US, uh, the USA. Okay, so the US stock market and so forth. But we know that good news in the economy, such as, you know, if people are getting jobs, that's bad. Okay, if companies' earnings are, are really good, that's bad. If the service sector is really good, that's bad. So why? Well, because the Federal Reserve is trying to cure inflation or halt inflation, and this just adds to inflationary numbers. How does it do that? How does it do that? Or how do you read into that? Well, if the service sector is picking up, that means people are buying stuff. Okay, so that means that you have money in your pocket and you're spending it. So when you also have things like this, Nvidia stock, we have the stock market just on a roll right now. This is making people feel wealthy. I I'm not a proposing, I'm not proposed to that. Okay, I, I understand what the Federal, Federal Reserve's doing, but you know, you have a strong stock market, you have a strong, I'll say a labor market, especially with the immigration that we have, uh, and, and then you have strong financials in upper middle class and upper class. Okay. The middle, lower class and lower class, they're getting hammered right now. And, um, it's just a fact. I'm not, I'm not trying to downgrade or, you know, you know, insult anybody, but that's just the facts. You can look at it too, is if you do have money, you're putting it into either stocks, bonds, or, or, or a money market or something like that. Even those yields are 5% when two, three years ago, the yields that you would get or the returns you would get on your money is 0.25. So even people with money, they're able to put their money into uh, accounts that actually will continue to build uh, interest and build assets for them. Okay, so here's what you're seeing in the stock market right now. Nvidia shares are are way up, and they're saying there was a there was a study here. I think their their revenues or something was up like 400. 400%. But you're seeing right through here, jobless claims fall as labor market continues to strive. And then you right see here, US business activity uh, quickens in May, price pressures build up. So that means more and more inflationary pressures that we're seeing. And that is bad news when it comes to the bond market, which we're seeing right through here. So let me explain this right here again. This is the MBS market. This is how we focus in and how we pay attention to what's going on with mortgage rates. We follow the bond. This bond, the yield of this bond is the biggest component of your mortgage rate. Okay. So what we do is we take the yield from this bond, we add in what's called LLPAs, and I'll do another video on that. And then we add a bank profit margin on that, and that's the rates. So when this price, the price of the bond goes down, there's an inverse relationship. Prices of a bond go down, the yields or the rates go up. So in this, since it's a mortgage bond, when you see this action, it means mortgage rates are going to go up. How high are they going to go up? Well, you can see that ticking. It just went from 19 to 20 to 21. So it's still kind of finding a, a bottom there, but I'm expecting mortgage rates to, to increase at least to 7.125. Maybe, I hope it doesn't go to maybe 7.17. Uh, so we'll probably get about 10 ticks to this. So we might even be at 7.2 uh, by the end of the day. But I'll put out a, um, a midday report to let you guys know, is this market starting to settle? But I wouldn't be a proponent of locking today because we have other news coming in tomorrow that might offset some of this stuff. Uh, you have durable goods coming in tomorrow, uh, Core Cap X. So some of these things might be movers in the other direction, meaning helping mortgage rates tomorrow. But I'll come up with an afternoon video today for you guys to show you you know, a market stabilizing or not. Uh, so that's basically the report for today. The report that I'm going to do this afternoon too, I'm also going to walk you through our application system and how it's kind of revolutionary. And it, it shows us everything on one screen that I, I'll basically show you guys behind the scenes this afternoon on how mortgage applications work. And then we're all go also going to show you a 
quick behind the scenes on how we find you the best rates in the market. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless. Have a fantastic afternoon. I'll see you in just a little bit. Bye-bye.